Now, from what I was told, this is his second album because the first one was called Capital Punishment. Damn, I think I did see that one before, so I should have grabbed that. But anyway, this is the first time, you know, me grabbing a big pun album. You feel me? Um, I could have swore this was his first fucking album, though. But I could be wrong. Somebody let me know. I didn't feel like Googling it. You dig? But at the same time, I just had to grab it. You know, Best Buy had it. As you see, it's all cracked and shit. Crazy, right? You know what I mean? But I was sitting there like, man, it ain't really no good shit to grab. They had uh, 808s and Heartbreak, a couple of them. So I was like, this shit is a classic joint. Let me just grab it. But big pun, yeah, baby. R.I.P. to that, man. Let's open it up. So, yes, I can never... I can honestly say I've never heard a big pun album. It sounds crazy. I know. It does. But it's just rappers back in those days, you know, you listen to who you liked and you didn't really give new people a chance. Oh, that opened up right perfect. But as you see, you know the legendary status that this man has lyric wise and i'm happy to have it in my collection so i'm not mad about that god damn let's look at the whole team back when terror squad was popping bro right here snapped on um the terror squad album that nigga was spit i forget that nigga name but that nigga was snapping cuban links i remember when that nigga had beef with uh bad joe and shit crazy let's go ahead and open it up man this is around the time, you know, Pun passed. And then that's when that Joe just became shit crazy. So this is the trip to me looking at this 15 years after the album dropped. That's crazy. That's like a montage to, you know, uh, Ali, of course. Pun was a big ass nigga. God damn. No disrespect. So it's kind of, you know, ill looking at artwork from, you know, 15 years ago trip man you did